Hi everyone and welcome to the Course Leaf Kim User Guide. In this tutorial I will go over some basic Kim functions to help you get started. First, let's begin by opening Course Leaf and to do so you will log into the portal. So go ahead and type in your username and password. And once the portal has loaded, go ahead and click on the Work Life tab. And in the bottom left corner, you'll see the external applications links. And in that list, you should see the Course Leaf Kim courses and Course Leaf Kim programs. And for this tutorial, we will look at courses. So click on that. And then you might see this complete login message. So just click that little button right there and it'll load the page. Once the page has loaded, you will see a list of all the courses offered across the district. This list will show you the course code, the title, where the course is in workflow, and the status of the course, whether it's been edited or if it's inactive, that detail will be listed here. In fall 2019, because of the transition from Curriculum, we will be cleaning up data. So if you see that a course has been edited or is in the banner workflow, it is because we are working to ensure the data is accurate. There are a couple of different ways to search in Kim. The quickest way is to use the Quick Searches drop-down menu. So say you wanted to see all of the courses offered at Oxnard, you would simply select that from the drop-down menu and they would all be listed here. Another way to search is by typing in the course code in the search bar. So for instance, if we wanted to search for a psychology course, we would type PSY and R for Oxnard and an asterisk, and that would bring up all of the psychology courses offered at Oxnard. And then once you find the course that you wanna work on, you select it from the list and the course page will populate below. Right below the title of the course page, you will see a box. This is the Kim ecosystem where you will see all of the programs that reference the course you are viewing. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see other courses that reference this one as well. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can post them to the forum on the Canvas training course or feel free to contact me directly.